What it do, family? It's your girl, 2D2. Now I'm back with another video. Shout out to the squad. That's in T-Drip set. What it do? I appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. I love you the long way. Listen, you know the vibe. I need you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please, please watch those ads. Look, a lot of people don't know what drip set mean. Dreaming really is probable. Whatever the fuck you want to do in this life, you can do that shit. Don't let nobody tell y'all different. Drip set, you heard? Now look, we're about to get into this Reginate Carter. Let's talk about it life update. And yes, I'm ready to talk about it. Because y'all been getting on my nerve. I told y'all these folks ain't going nowhere. They right together. They just working some shit out like we all do. Let's get into it. Problem solved. I only got to be in this video one second. You see how her face came on? When you're hurt, you don't look like that. <laughs> when you're hurt, you don't look like that. Okay? Y'all don't understand. The proof been in the pudding. Y'all ain't looking. No, let me stop. Let me go. Right side of the bed today because you are on the right side of the YouTube world. And that's here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I just wanted to come on here to just do a video of a life update. Um, I'm going to just tell you guys what I've been going through, what I've been getting ready for, and things that's been going on. So, yeah. So, we're going to start with hi, everybody. Um, I hope everybody is doing good. I've been seeing that a lot of people are very picky and choosy on what they want to see on my channel nowadays and I get that I understand that I started with Armand and you guys are so used to seeing me and Armand and I get that I mean I feel like we were giving that fresh young love I do not know why my camera's always like um blurring up but I noticed that in my other video. I don't know why, but that's giving me get a new camera. Maybe. But um, I feel it. I feel how everybody is, was just in love with that content and everything. And it was real. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, how can da, da, da. it was real. And it's still real. I feel like when you have feelings for someone, it doesn't just go away like that. But I want everyone to know that what you don't see online doesn't mean that it's not happening, nor, yeah, like, I just feel like when people put you in their lives, I get it. You feel like you're, like, I, I, I get it. You feel like, listen, you put us here, so, hey, let us know what's up, and I get that, but that's not how it goes. It, and I think that's what people got to understand, and I mean, you don't just see it with Regina and Armand, you see it with everybody. Sometimes as supporters, we do. We get invested in this shit. It ain't nothing else to watch. And we do. Every time we watch a video, we be feeling like we be knowing these folks. So it's only, it's only going to be logical that we do be wanting answers. Because Lord knows, I've been looking all over the internet. You know what I'm saying? But it's just certain things that I felt in my chest. I didn't really think that they broke up. I feel like they went through a situation like we're all going to go through. And I feel like it's different when you're doing it in front of everybody. But um, hopefully, I pray that they keep a lot of this shit off the internet, you know, uh, nowadays. Because people is just going to judge regardless, bro. Go where, it, this is how I go in my world. When I'm showing you something, that is something that is a part of my life at the moment. And that is what, I'm not going to hide it for anybody or nobody. So, what you guys have experienced over the past couple of months is something that I enjoyed i loved i had a great time with armand i loved experiencing him i loved just being in his space and i feel like he loved the same i mean he felt the same way but you know people grow apart and people you know not everything is perfect you don't know people could work things out you just never know and i feel like we're young and we have Yo, I don't know why Regina did this video. She do not know how to just, like, not give it away, bro. Like, she don't know how to give it away. Yo, I'm so, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. But look, look, look. 
Look, I'm so sorry. I'm listening with you. I believe her. Trust me, I know what she's saying. But, bro, dog, yeah. All right, let's, can we all go back to when we first had our heart broke by somebody who we really loved? And I want you to tell me, when you look back, did your face look like this? <laughs> Um, you know, not everything is perfect. You don't know. People can work things out. You just never know. The work things out is already worked out. That's why you cheese and dimples. Come and I on, like bro. Yo, and I got y'all got to We have so many eyes on us and so many people that are rooting for love and rooting for, you know, just for us to be together. And I, I respect that. But I also want people to respect our privacy and our mental as well you know like we have things that we have to work on within each other and it's like honestly it's nothing where it's like i'm telling you guys to go point fingers at who's the wrong guy who's the right guy who's the good guy who's the bad guy it's not like that we are both young we both was in this relationship we both had things that we had to work on so <laughs> Every time this nigga is trying so hard, and then this is the fucking part. Regina is a good actress. She know good damn where her face is giving it away. This is before the smile. I can pause it right when I know she can't even she can't even disguise it no more. When we unpause it, that's where the cheese is going. I'm sorry, Kimmy Kim. These people be want me to believe dumb shit, and I can't. <laughs> Yeah, and I wanted to come on here and talk about it because everybody else talking about it, but ain't nobody here from me. <laughs> he didn't hit her with that boy. That boy, listen, it is back in the fact. Do you see her mannerisms? No, nah, for real though. Y'all gotta chill. They all right. I told y'all. And it's a lot of people who owe me a lot, whole lot of money because y'all was betting me that it was over. And I told y'all to let them folks, let them folks be, bro. We all go through shit. Straight up. It's so, funny, I though. wanted to tell you, like, yeah, this ain't that. I hate that I did the whole tweeting thing. I hate he did the whole tweeting thing. We're young. We all tweeting this motherfucker. Don't act like y'all don't. And it's just what it is. I hate that it, like, had to happen like that. Yeah, hell yeah. Break the ice so when they see y'all now, people will know. Because that's, yeah, you was wrong. He was wrong. Everybody was wrong. Now, we still in the in in the, um <laughs> we still in the TV show. I'm telling y'all, this is a finale. We might be headed to the spinoff. You did when they get back together, and move to LA and shit. Yeah, that might be season one of the next of the spinoff. But I feel like um, I just want this time to like kind of like tell you guys what you see on the internet is not always fake and it's not always real also you got to understand that these youtube videos that me and our mom were making were to entertain you guys because we knew that our love that we had was something that we knew that could motivate others to love motivate others to you know just want to be on that time i guess and i'm glad that we did it i don't regret anything i feel like Now you might as well have just waited to put our mind in this motherfucking video, bro. You are a dead giveaway. I love her, shawty. Like, dead serious. That's why she couldn't make no video a long time ago. I would have been seen through this. Oh, this is good material. That was a part of our journey. It was a part of our life. It was something that we was experiencing together. And I had a ball. I feel like everybody had their ups. I mean... Everything and everybody had their ups and their downs, relationships, businesses, people, places. It is what it is. But you just have to remain true to yourself and you have to remain, you know, like humble and also stop bashing others. Like, yeah, and when you go somewhere, sneak so they can't see us. You know, Nay, I feel you. It's the other folks that would, we. Just because things don't work out, don't mean you have to go to the to the other person and bash them. Right. Like, especially when we're gonna be together. Not, 
that deep and I feel like I understand that you guys care for each and for both of us like you know I came with my fans he has his fans and we came together and we all and we all loved each other as one so I feel like we should stay on that that please let's stay on that tip because we're back together again <laughs> and I we need we don't need any division we're back we're one you know what I'm saying? The Simon is doing good. I'm looking good every day. Yes, we need Armin A to reunite because it's back on, damn it. <laughs> type of time. And yeah, like I really wanted, to, I really have been like contemplating on making this video because I feel like no, it's nobody's business. It's really nobody's business. And I really didn't have to do this. But I also. I also do understand that this is a part of our life that we showed you guys and hey like you guys want an explanation Bro. and it's really no real explanation to what's going on for real because it's not over so I don't I mean what you really want me to say that we broke up because we did it <laughs> He got on my nerves. I cussed his ass out, and this is what we do. You nigga, and I'm gonna cuss his ass out next month. In a month after that, two people gotta understand that this is not they gonna it's gonna happen again. What the fuck is y'all for real? Y'all really think that YouTube couples like it, it just keep going and it don't stop? Like y'all really think that shit? Yo, you gotta chill. It's just chill. that we're two people that's in love that are trying. We're two people that's in love. Let me let me let me just bring it back again because again, when a person is heartbroken and they're not with a person, they're not gonna say two people that's in love. You're not gonna even want to associate yourself with that motherfucker. I'm just telling y'all. Going oh, going for real. It's just that we're two people that's in love that are trying to find a way in this chaos of a world that we live. In. Somebody put my cash app. <laughs> Some, one of the mods paying my cash out for all the people that have betted me. I know, yeah, and I remember a lot of faces. And this one girl in particular, like, oh, I'm looking for her. I ain't seen her in so long. Come on, where you at? You was up in this motherfucker with me. Put my cash out for everybody. It's not, I got the record of the ones who paid me. So don't worry about it, but I told y'all, whatever. So that is all. It's nothing more to it. Like all of the lies, the, the rumors, the fake snapshots the blogs posted all of that stuff is like very like draining and yeah i just feel like everybody just needs to be more mindful of other people's mental health and it's a real thing and on both things and i feel like with men and female we got to also understand like especially our black community got to also understand that we need to be more more like careful with each other like and i i have to learn the same i have to learn the same thing because i also get out of character and feel and act act out as well and i rethink my i rethink the things that i do because i feel like it ain't worth it like growing up i feel like you guys seen uh my to run ah growing up i feel like you guys seen me in different light I never hid myself. I never hid who I am. I've always stayed true to myself. Um, girl, you is a crab baby. And I want my girl, my psycho here. Y'all know I don't got a problem with y'all. Yeah, she be making me real emotional. But I just want to tell y'all, um, I, I just want to tell y'all that growing up, you guys see me grow up. You see me clap back you seen the spoiled brat side you seen all of this and i want y'all to give me some grace and to understand that i am learning i am only 24 years old and child i'm strong as hell but like sometimes this world puts too much on the younger like our generation and what's going on and if it, and i feel like we put too much on ourselves we like kiki palmer was just saying we want to be 
the biggest and have the most money and be all figured out and have everything all figured out in our 20s, bro. Like, it's just not going to happen. It's not, it don't go like that. And also, for everybody to judge, I have literally, like, people that's, like, older than me judging me on what I do. And it's like, reach out a hand. Tell me what you think I should do, but don't judge me on what I'm doing because I'm learning, too. Purple Princess 29, let me explain something to you. You on my reaction channel, so I'm a pause. I'm also making light of the situation because a lot of people was talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, so I'm making light of the situation. If you want to see the video in its entirely, then you go over to Regine's channel. I'm going to say that. All right? I'm having fun on my channel. If you don't like it, bounce. It's that simple. Like, we got to start helping each other, you know? Like, we got to start helping each other grow. Don't put, don't put each other down. If you see somebody doing something wrong, like, don't exploit them. Don't, like, make them feel like they're already worse than what they're living in and what they're going through. Help them. You know, so, like, that's why I love my mom. I love my mom because no matter what, she's, she's never going to handicap me or make me feel like I'm right when I'm not. My mom is always going to tell me when I'm wrong. She's always going to tell me when I need to get it together. And I respect that. And I feel like, as a, me as an adult, I don't take it all the time. I don't take it in all the time. I don't take it in as a love. I don't take it in as she's trying to look out for me. I take it as, girl, like, I take it as, I'm living life. I'm this, I'm that. But, like, she's helping me. She's lived it before. You know? So, like... Let's just try to be more patient with our parents, more patient with the elders that's just not used to this generation and not used to what's going on and they're just... Yo, who, me who remember when we talked about this on my channel? Who remember? A lot of people was uh, in my comments to a video because they took out a snippet and they put it on Twitter and they was trying to make it seem like I was downplaying Regine and this was exactly what I was talking about, what she's talking about right now. People always be sitting here acting like they shit don't stink. And that was the whole point of me laughing at the beginning of the video. That's the point. Because, see, people be looking at somebody who's 24 years old. And then you over here in their comments at 36 and 40 at y'all big age. And y'all expect for this girl to be what y'all are now. And it's just no way it's going to be like that. So I get these folks grace. That's why I know they didn't break up. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to give people time to be able to grow, shawty. It ain't no fairy tale in this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. But we talked about this shit, an exact segment is this. And that's why every time when everybody was bashing her on the internet when she first made the statement, I'm like, yo, you got to chill. We've all been there mad at our man, dog, and said something wrong, bro. We've all been there before, bro. And it's so sad that she even had to feel this way. Crazy. Trying to help us. They're just trying to just... You know, guide us in the best way that we can because honestly, this generation in this world is crazy. Our beliefs and what we feel as though that we think is good and we think that we have to do and we think that we need to do, we think we need to have this, we think we that it's not healthy for us. Mm -hmm. And it's not the way to it's not a healthy way of living, you know? So I just wanted to say that. Also, let's go back on a good note. I, I want to like stop the crying and stuff. But I'm moving, and I'm going to go house hunting. I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm, of course, I'm not going to show you nothing like that. But I just wanted to, like, you know, just take you guys with me and just show the experience of just moving out of town, away from Atlanta. Is I'm stopping for real now. Because y'all know why I'm about to stop this, bitch. Then I bet it. What did I tell y'all the season <laughs> season one was going to start with them moving to L.A. right in the house? Did I say that? I'm just saying, bro. Like, I said this shit. And if it comes out, I want my monies, man. Golly, I said this jump, bro. This you don't think I was psychic, for bro? Me, and I feel like it's also me gaining my independence. I feel like I've always been, you know, dependent on somebody in my life where it's like I feel like I need help or I need this or that that so I just wanted to like 
gain some independence about myself and just try to like push to my like get it get myself to know that I can do this alone and I can do this myself and yes I do have a strong village behind me that can help me whenever I need it but I want to just show myself this that I'm 24 years old I can't always call on mommy can't always call on daddy Thanks. I need to do this for myself also you guys I don't know if I said this but I started therapy and I love it I think I did say this but I love it um I feel like if you don't feel therapy is not right for you I get that but I want to tell you guys it's just for your self evaluation and just you self and, and you analyzing the things that you went through and just talking about it you know we have I think one of the things I really do love about this video because some of the times we be seeing when relationships go through trouble right it's like always sometimes directed completely towards the man I like in this video that she's taking accountability for the things that she did as well you know what I'm saying because people always be feeling like it's a one way street if we both ain't working towards the goal then it ain't gonna work it's just that simple you know what I'm saying but for her to do things that she know that she probably had a problem with you feel what I mean and just to really go and talk to somebody man that shit already is dope and that's gonna make her a better woman for our mind straight up so many people that we feel like, oh, our besties, oh, this is my mama, I tell her everything, da, da, da. But it's great to hear a listening ear and someone that's telling you certain things where they don't know you. Yeah, they don't know about your life. They don't yeah. know, you know, your ways. They don't really, like, understand. Well, they don't know you like everybody else around you in your life does. So it's great to have that outside, you know, um, opinion and just hearing somebody tell you something that they see what you just sitting on their couch and from a couple sessions and it's crazy so i would think that you know you would like and then it's just great it's like a diary you know it's good to just let things out like right now i feel like i feel great letting this out to you guys i mean some people might say it's too vulnerable some people might say don't but also we got to learn to do you you only live once y'all life is short life is short it's been a lot going on nowadays like the internet like I, I love going to the internet and i'm just like this is so draining like if I, if I didn't get paid from this i would not be on it like i agree but yo this is the shit we be talking about on sister sunday no cap if you do not tune in to Sister Sunday. Make sure you tune in every Sunday at 3 o'clock. We talk about things like this. When what she just said, dog, what is just so dope, it's like we sometimes be afraid to have therapy, but sometimes we need to be able to talk to somebody who we don't know that's going to have a complete unbiasedness. Because like when we know people, we will say things in a certain way because we don't still want them to know certain things. So like going to therapy is just going to let you be butt-ass naked, and when you leave there, that shit going to make you feel so much better. It's so draining. I want you guys to just have a relationship with God. Pray. Like, just make your life easier. Make your life as easy as you can. You know, like, for yourself. Like, I know life is hard, but just try to make it easy. You know, when things happen that you don't really like or you don't really agree with, try to walk away from it. Or try to like, you know, like get space where it's like you're not acting out or you're not hating or you're not showing hatred in your heart because you don't want to be there or you don't like the person or you don't, you know, like start being true to yourself and your feelings because I feel like that's a lot of what's going on in our world. We're not happy with where we are. We're not happy with our jobs. We're not happy with what's going on. So we're we're showing it. Like we're like we're projecting it in how we move. We're projecting it in how we treat others. We're projecting it in how we doing certain things that we know that we don't like, but it's getting us money or it's getting us this. Like, you know, just start being more true to yourself and your feelings and yeah. Drop it in the comments. How many people in here went to therapy before? Drop it down below. I want to know if you've been to therapy before. Yeah, I. Yeah, and also I want to tell y'all, I support my people no matter what. 
right so no matter what you're going through always be there for your loved ones like no matter what you're going through and it don't have to be on the internet it don't you don't have to see it y'all don't have to see it i don't have to see it but just make sure you're there for your loved ones and i know certain things don't happen certain things change up plans switch people change but just make sure you're not that person that's just like all of you just make sure you're not that person that's not easy to talk to or you're not easy to communicate with because i've been that person and i'm trying to change from that person you know i'm trying to be able to be easy to talk to you know because i'm a loving person i love i love love i love heart and i want people to be able to say i love talking to nay i love being around nay i love this and this and that and i feel like my my personality is very strong and if you get it you get it if you don't you don't so it's like people tend to judge me because it's so strong where it's like I don't play about myself neither. So it comes off as, Thanks. oh, she's stuck up or she's this or she's that. When it's like, no, I've just been hurt so many damn times that it's like I try to protect myself as much as I can and I end up being the bad guy or I end up looking like the monster at the end because I'm just trying to protect myself. So that is why I'm in counseling to in therapy to like, you know, be better with just maneuvering in this world and picking the right people to be in my corner and also not begging people to be in my corner, not not feeling like I need... You don't need validation. And a lot of people think that, you know what I'm saying, therapy is weak. It's not weak at all. The same way that we be going right now to doctors and we get checkups... We check everything else except for our mind. Can you think about it, though, when you think about it that way? When everything gets tired on our bodies and shit, we go straight to the doctor, man. We get checked out. We don't ever go get that brain checked. You feel me? That's why therapy, man, is not a simp move, K okay, Dottie. And as you get older, you're going to realize it's going to be more harmful than good, especially as a black man. You dig? You're going to need it way more than you think. You feel me? But yeah, man, you got to exercise that shit like everything else. Your toes and all that. You go to get your back and you, and, and you get your Brazilian waxes and shit. You treat all of that except for your brains and shit. This person, because of what they do for me or what they what they feel, the void they feel. I need to feel that void my damn self. You know, so when people come around, I know I'm not using this for them. I'm not using it for that. I'm not using like. I know that I have my trust, I have my confidence, I have my love for myself, so I know that I can give more than, you know, take. And that's what our world needs to do. I mean, that's what our generation needs to figure, needs to um, realize. We need to stop taking and stop feeling like, oh, we need this, we need this, and start, you know, compromising, start understanding, well, I know what I did wrong and I know what I need to work on, so until I can work on it, I can't be in the situation or I can't do this and if somebody loves you and they want the best for you they'll respect it we need to we as people need to start learning different tips and things and just stress relievers and things that we need to start learning to do where we find peace more than drama or find peace more than death find peace more than suicide find peace more than yes. getting this done again. like we need to for, start, start finding peace within ourselves Boy. so yeah i just wanted to come on here and say that um y'all know y'all love my little motivational video i'm not just kidding um honestly i i rock with y'all whoever you guys keep subscribing Keep liking, keep loving all my videos. You know, I understand you. I understand certain people. You guys follow people for certain content that you want. And if you're not getting it, baby, I give you full powers, respect, honor, everything. I actually like videos like this of her. I love these vulnerable videos. Um, I think we start to see a side of Renee that we don't really see when she's like 
on other videos with people, but I love the vulnerable side of her because she's a woman, just like us all. The only difference is we all in different stages, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. We all in different stages of womanhood, but it don't make no, nay no dumber than how we used to be or none of that shit, bro. But I love these type of videos with her. I actually like to see more of these. Like, I think she need to have like a life update every week on her channel. I think that'd be fire. Thing to unsubscribe and to not ever come to my channel again if you if i'm not giving you what you need but if i am and if i touched you today and if i changed you or or made you feel a different way or made you call that person and tell them sorry made you just this made you want to work it out whatever the case may be i'm thankful for that and i love you guys i hope you guys like this video make sure you like comment subscribe and press that bell notification so you can see every time i'm i drop more content is coming soon um yeah and peace love and happiness <laughs> stop bashing people Thanks, we bro. love everybody stop getting into everybody else's business when you don't really know nobody so i get it we put y'all in it but that's about to stop too you know we are all learning we all grew up on social media and how in other words they're not going to be posting their relationship as much as a whole we all learn to just keep certain things to ourselves and i'll be learning that too and yeah what you don't see on the internet don't mean it's not happening and yeah i guess that's it girl i'm about to go get my hair done my nails done my eyebrows done um that is just what it is stay happy stay healthy and i love you guys this was a very good video I'm all for it. I want y'all to drop it down in the comments and let me know how y'all feel. Rate the video 1 through 10, the good, bad, and the ugly. Um, I love this video. Um, sometimes I feel like, and we talk about this on Sister Sunday, we talk about like women not taking accountability for the things they do wrong and we do wrong in a relationship. And this was very refreshing because sometimes women ruin, ruin some good men. And I'm not saying she does that, but I'm saying if we don't take the necessary steps as women to be able to like confront our issues that we be having, we we have a tendency to push some good people away. So I love the fact that she's taking every step that she need to be able to make her not only herself better, but now she's going to be a better daughter, a better girl to him, a better sister. Like the shit's lit. Um, and for her to be doing this at 24, you kind of got to commend that because at 24, I wasn't thinking, I wouldn't know. It was nothing like this. So, yeah, I got to give it to her. But y'all stay tuned. We about to get into some more.